fuck going on? God damn it. I got so many goodies to share with y'all before I even get into this fucking video. I'm so excited. I don't know why, but bitch. I got so many goodies. Okay, so look. Boom. Wait, wait. It's a me. <laughs> It's me, you guys. My friend made me into a temporary tattoo, and I think it's this is like the hardest shit fucking ever. It's me, and these are little tacos behind me, and this is my little patch of green hair. I think that shit is so fucking cool. So I'm gonna link this, and I'm gonna link her Instagram so y'all can go tap in and get y'all some temporary tattoos. You can get a taco, you can get a weed plant, you can get some of these cool, intricate ass fucking designs and lines. She even got some prints in color, my nigga. Like, this shit's so hard, I ended up putting one of them on my arm. But it's been a few days since I did that and it ended up washing off, you get what I'm saying? I, I take showers every day, like most people should. At least I think y'all should. I don't fucking know what the fuck y'all need to do, but I know me, I take showers every day, so. The design washed off, but that's okay because this shit lasts very fucking long. If you want the people and your parents won't let you get a tattoo, or if you don't even want to mark up your skin, or if you want to see what you look like before you get a real tattoo, I suggest you guys tap in with my friend. Like I said, she got black and white prints. She got color prints. And she even got weed prints from my little weed smokers. And then she has me. It's me. <laughs> so, you know. I just want to throw that out there before I got into the video because I think it's so fucking cool. And also, me and Pete the Drip, my nigga, I suggest you do your research. You did what I'm saying. My friend has made me a brand ambassador for his clothing line. It is called True Essence. You did what I'm saying. Yeah. So tap in with Andre. Andre got some dope ass merch. If you've been if you've been subscribed to me forever, you've seen this logo before. I actually I actually had a shirt from him before. Andre been doing a fucking thing. You did what I'm saying. Y'all just been asleep. So tap in with my boy. I got the nice sweat. Nigga, this sweatsuit so fucking hard, bitch. I can't wait to take pictures in this shit. Y'all ain't gonna know what to do with the kid. He did on Shane. Hit him with one of this. Yeah. Hit him with that. Yeah. Uh, uh. This shit hard, nigga. This shit cozy as shit. I love good ass clothes with good ass quality. You dig what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like no motherfuckers who all they do is print that goddamn label on a fucking guild and t-shirt and then sell that shit for $49.99. Oh, fuck you. And that goddamn clothing line. <laughs> that shit. Like, I'm not trying to throw no shade, but like, don't do that. Like, and then they get mad at me when I don't want to like fucking support it or buy it. Nigga, you think I'm going to spend $49.99 on a guild and t-shirt with a print on it that I can literally get from Walmart and print that bitch on there my goddamn self in the middle of the mall at the mall printing shop for $13.99? Stop playing with me, ho. So anyway, if you want some good quality clothes, you know what I'm saying? You want your cool little sweatsuit. I know it's summertime, but it's actually cold right now in Atlanta. Surprisingly, for like the past three days, bitches been a little wind, wind, little windy, little chilly outside. Not too sure what's going on. Don't know where this cold front coming from, but bitch, goddamn. But if you live somewhere up north, or even if you just want to tap in and get this bitch for, you know, the fall season coming up, Bitch, I suggest you tap in because this motherfucker gonna go quick. This shit's so fucking hard. Do you see this cream color? In it? Ooh, this shit hard. Also, my other friend, Humble T, Taz, the creator, you did what I'm saying? Taz and tapped in. Taz and gave me so much fucking hard ass merch. I ain't got no shirt right now, and I don't want to mix. I don't want to mix clothing brands. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to have her shirt on, then have Andre sweatsuit on. Like, black people gonna support black people, period. You did what I'm saying? I just don't want to mix. But. Taz created her shit hard as fuck, you did what I'm saying? I done posted a couple pics, you know, dip, dabbed up in her shit on my Instagram. So, bitch, if you ain't like my picture, ho, you a hater. And, bitch, if you ain't tap in with Taz the Creator and shop, ho, you a hater. Fuck is he talking about? And speaking of haters, bitch. Oh, before I get into this rant, I'm going to link everything and everybody. I'm going to link Taz the Creator and her beautiful ass stuff. I'm going to link Andre and his creative ass stuff. And I'm going to link my friends with the temporary tattoos so you can get you some temporary tattoos. I'm gonna link everything in the pinned comment below, you dig what I'm saying? So if you want some merch, if you want some tattoos, uh, go tap in. Anyway, speaking of fucking haters, before I get into this video, I would like to do a rant. One of y'all little hoes DL me talking about some, ooh, Taco, you blocked my page. I don't like that. And just for that, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if you unsubscribe from your fat ass diet, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. Y'all be feeling a little too entitled to people's time and fucking presence. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Cause I'ma tell y'all one thing about me, two things for sure. I'ma block the fuck out of bitch. Especially if 
listen <laughs> then listen tip 101 on how to not get blocked by taco have a fucking picture on your profile I don't do that shit because bitches a lot of y'all hating ass hoes out here and instead of going back and forth with y'all hoes and letting y'all hoes come into my vicinity and fuck up my lovely vibrating ass aura i block y'all bitches i'm not gonna go back and forth on the internet bitch i don't go back and forth on the internet i shoot bitches and bitch if i can't <laughs> if i can't come to you and shoot you bitch i will hex you ho i will curse you i'm not going back and forth with you on the internet ho when i got demons that'll pull up in, into your house right now like cut it the fuck out so apparently i blocked one of y'all little weird ass hoes because obviously you probably didn't have no fucking pictures up bitch i'm not i'm not gonna let you follow me and you don't that's weird as shit like <laughs> what do you want instagram to do just watch people i don't like i don't like pages like that don't follow me and you don't have no pictures don't follow me and you got damn following 40,000 people with no followers at all and don't follow me if you a fucking spam or just a weird ass not even spam because I have I had a spam page you get what I'm saying but I was active on that motherfucker don't follow me and you like a burner account is the word I should use burner accounts and spam pages are two different fucking pages bitch don't follow me because I'm gonna block you I don't give a fuck bitch I don't owe you shit ho I don't owe a motherfucker no goddamn thing the only person I owe shit to is myself bitch because for half of my goddamn life I hated myself so bitch now that I'm loving my motherfucking self ho you damn right I'm gonna keep all y'all little hating ass weird energy having ass hoes the fuck about my life bitch I don't give a fuck I don't owe you shit bitch Talking about you lost a subscriber. I don't give a fuck if I lost a follower of Jesus Christ. Bitch, I don't give a fuck, bitch. Fuck you. Bye. What the fuck? Bitch, fuck you. What would have goddamn cry? Oh my God. She unsubscribed. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you took back a shirt that you gave. <laughs> I don't care, bitch. Bye. What the fuck? I just had to get that out there. Like, if you do not want to get blocked by me, have some pictures. Fuck is you talking? I don't, I don't play that shit because it'd be so many weird assholes watching my page. Like, I got probably like three main weird bitches I know watch my page. And the type of bitch I am, I know that them hoes is so weird and so spiteful and so jealous that they'll keep recreating new pages just to come watch me because I done blocked all the other ones. So in my mind, you one of them three hating weird ass hoes, so I'm going to block you. I don't give a fuck, bitch. You better have some pictures up. Bitch, this is 2021. Why the fuck is you on Instagram if you ain't going to post no picture? You just don't here to watch, bitch. Fuck, bitch, this ain't watch men, ho. Fuck you. Yeah, you already know what the fuck going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I am trying to get this video out really quick because I have to go run errands before it starts raining. Although I love the rain, I do not want to be out in the rain today, not in this outfit. Because, bitch, this shit dipper dan, dapper dan. Goddamn, dig them. You dig what I'm saying? This shit hard, nigga. Damn this shit. I can't wait to take pictures of this hoe, nigga. I, I love when people give me merch. I love that. Because what the fuck? Look at me. Like, <laughs> why wouldn't you want me to be the face of your fucking product? Period. So I gotta get this, I gotta get this video out real fucking quick. And the reason I want to tell y'all this story is because I don't like drugs. <laughs> I don't like fucking drugs. I'm gonna tell y'all why I don't like. I, I can't even cap. Yeah, shrooms. Y'all know, y'all know I will fuck some shroom. Like, if you haven't watched my shroom trip video, I'm going I'm to link it below. But I, lo I love shrooms. But, like, all them other shit, like, even with weed sometimes makes me, y'all know how weed makes me. Weed makes me very fucking anxious. I get nervous. All. When I smoke, I get so fucking nervous. And I, I already have such an, an insane as membrane. So it's like when I'm high, it be too fucking much happening. You get what I'm saying? So when I'm sober, I'm already fucking crazy. So what the fuck do you, <laughs> what do you think smoking weed will do to me? You get what I'm saying? But it's so crazy because when I, when I go on shrooms trips, I be so fucking, bitch, I just be vibe the fuck out. Like it just be so fucking fun. It just be like such an amazing ass experience. I think I'm more so of a shrooms girl than I am of like a, blunt like I, I i just can't smoke i can't smoke weed i don't feel cool when i i look dumb as shit when i'm high bro i don't give a fuck when i smoke weed i feel so stupid like <laughs> i just be sitting there like man ho you look dumb like you probably look stupid as fuck but when i'm off some shrooms bitch i be feeling amazing i be like man ho you the baddest bitch in the city right <laughs> the, the whole point of this video is to basically tell you guys why i don't like drugs 
and why I'm, I'm just afraid of people who can just do drugs and function and go about their day-to-day lives you get what i'm saying now not weed because i know a lot of functioning fucking people who smoke weed we it's nothing weed is from the fucking earth the same way shrooms are from the earth i don't i don't give a fuck about like weed and shrooms and shit but once you get into like that man-made shit <laughs> like pills and powder and, and lean that shit make me nervous because it's kind of like how are you functioning so well off of something that's man-made and it's also supposed to be used for people to like treat themselves to get better you get what i'm saying so let me tell y'all this fucking story real quick and then i gotta fucking go so if i rush through this i'm fucking sorry but i just need to get this off my chest so boom taco is not a big drug user i don't i don't like drugs they scare me because i don't i think i told y'all this before i don't like feeling like i'm not in control of my body i don't like that because it kind of makes me think about possession movies y'all ever seen like y'all seen fucking the exorcist and like the possession and bitch just scary fucking movies period whole like when a motherfucker get possessed and they fucking doing all this shit bending breaking they back bitch ain't that bitch doing a robot bitches Whoa, like you give a fuck that shit be scary as shit i'll be like why is this hoe behaving like <laughs> why is this bitch behaving like this you know what i'm saying that shit made me nervous so that's kind of like what that's what i correlate drugs to i correlate like drugs to possess this airplane look real goddamn low <laughs> then we move him up <laughs> move my goddamn camera now i correlate drugs to possession because what the fuck is that? You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all already know I, I think so deep into shit. And my granddaddy and my own daddy told me, like, you know you ever pass by, like, a bar or, like, a place that serves alcohol? They, they call it spirits because alcohol gives you a different spirit. Like, alcohol brings out a different spirit in you. If you get drunk as fuck, then you know what I'm talking about. You get what I'm saying? So, that's why you ever pass by a bar and they say some shit about, like, drinks and good spirits or alcohol and spirits or booze and spirits. You get what I'm saying? It's because alcohol brings out a whole different fucking person. It, does that not sound like some possession type shit to you? Like, it, it just sounds fucking crazy, right? But it, it's okay, because I drink from time to time. But I'm not, like, out here losing my fucking mind. Alcoholic type shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody is going to do whatever the fuck they want at any time they want. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to judge no motherfucking body. I'm just here to tell y'all why I'm scared of it. <laughs> if alcohol can do something like that to you, imagine what drugs can do to you. Do to you, you get what I'm saying? So, to, like, pills and, like, Molly Zans and Percocet. My Percocet. Rep the set. Got it. Rep the set. Okay. Nah, for real. So when it comes to all that shit, cocaine, coke, bitch, that's what I'm finna tell y'all about. Coke and shit. When it comes to all that shit, I get nervous because I don't know what the fuck people are bound to do. I don't know how somebody will react to something. You get what I'm saying? So personally, my first time when I tripped on shrooms, I was home alone. I was in this bitch by myself. My girlfriend was out of town. And I said, bitch, whatever happens, happens. If I die, I die. Like, <laughs> but at least I'm alone. You get what I'm saying? I don't want nobody seeing me freak the fuck out. Like, oh, this bitch tripping you know what i'm saying this bitch got laced or something but it's just like when i see people who, who can just pop pills and like do shit like that and just function i be like whoa <laughs> what the fuck is going on inside your brain you know what i'm saying like it's so funny because i seen this tweet and it was like people who do psychedelics always talking about some oh don't worry about it it's all about your mindset and the, and the tweet was like bitch i am insane and i thought that was so funny because bitch i am insane but psychedelics help me so fucking much like i love i love shrooms i love shrooms so much and people keep telling me like oh you should try lsd i don't think i'm no i, I <laughs> no i don't think I, I don't think i'm ready to take that step just yet my nigga like maybe maybe grown adult 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 taco because right now i'm still 24 i'm still spiritually i'm old as fuck but bitch physically and mentally i'm still childish you get what i'm saying so i don't think i'm ready for fucking lsd but i'm good on some shrooms my dad loves shrooms but it's so funny because the post is like people who do psychedelics are always talking about something don't worry it's just it's all about your mindset bitch i am insane and it's so crazy because that's literally how i think and i just be sitting here like if i can do shrooms and i'm good off shrooms i wonder what the fuck is like for people who do coke and pills and lean and all this crazy shit what the fuck be happening to them? And bitch, I saw what the fuck be happening to them. So recently, I, do you guys do you guys remember me telling y'all how I was in, me and my girlfriend was in Florida for like a whole fucking, bro, me and my girlfriend was in Florida for like a whole month, my nigga. Like, we was just out there just goddamn parlaying, bitch, vacationing, you did know what I'm saying? And we ended up going to like so many different little bars, you know, just to fucking get out and just have fun, right? So we like, we hit up probably like four, five different bars, like, Throughout our entire stay in Florida, we probably went to a bar like almost every other weekend, you get what I'm saying? So 
One thing about Florida, there's a lot of white people out here. From from what I remember, you get what I'm saying? Because my girlfriend is recently just now moving out here. I've been in Atlanta. We're both from Florida, but I've been in Atlanta. My girlfriend is just now recently moving out here. So, you know, when I went back to Florida, I'm like, I remember it being maybe 20% more niggers out here. <laughs> just 20% more niggers out here. Where the fuck did all these white people come from? You get what I'm saying? So. I was out in Florida and I'm just like, it's a lot of goddamn white people out here from my last memory. I remember this being the ghetto, but you know, gentrify is gonna gentrify. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're just out in the bar, we chilling. And you know, the more we go to the bar, like we starting to like link up and kind of like sort of meet the same people repeatedly. Because one thing about Florida, and it's so funny because even a girl, even one of the girls we was hanging out with, she even told me this. She said one thing about Florida and one thing about like these bars and these small towns, you're going to always see these same people in here because this is their life. Like they will get off work and come do this. This is their ritual. This is their routine. Like, and I just thought that was so crazy because it's kind of like this shit lame. Like, <laughs> like I, on some real shit, like being in Atlanta and just being in action all the fucking time. There's just so many things and so many places to do and people to see and places to go versus just being in Florida and it's just the beach bar, beach bar, beach bar. You know what I'm saying? But I like, I, I enjoy the beach. I would never get tired of the beach. But that bar scene, I was in there like, y'all fucking lame. And then like the music, I'm like, what the fuck? Are y'all niggas playing Tim McGraw? Like, <laughs> that, that didn't go kind of crazy. I ain't even gonna cap. But like, I was still just out there like, what the fuck? This shit lame, my nigga. Like, it was just so crazy. So the girl was telling us like, you know, if y'all keep coming to the bar every other weekend, like y'all bound to see the same people because this is what the fuck they do. She was like, they come out here, they get drunk. Some of them do drugs. They play a little pool. They play some darts. They go home and they do this like every fucking, like almost every day of the week. As I said, this is fucking terrible. So this is bad. <laughs> this is not good for anybody's fucking spirit. You get what I'm saying? The whole point of that, you guys, is basically to tell y'all that this girl was not fucking lying. Like, these motherfuckers dead ass come to the bar and get high as fuck and get drunk as fuck. And I just was like, niggas is really just doing... Look, on some real shit, <laughs> I'm, I'm teeing because I talk so fucking... I got a big ass mouth, bitch. I got a big fucking mouth and I don't give a fuck. Because what you gonna do? Beat me up? Ho, I will shoot you. So, on some real shit, don't do nothing crazy around <laughs> Don't do nothing crazy around me. Because, bitch, I'm telling. Like, I don't know who I'm telling, but I'm telling, bitch. Don't do no crazy shit around Taco Big Mouth Tarantino. Don't do that shit. Don't do that shit around me. Because I'm telling everybody I fucking know, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tell my grandma and that motherfucker like 87. I'm like, grandma, they doing coke. What's coke, baby? Don't worry about it. Just know they do it. Like, I'm telling every. <laughs> I don't like that shit because it's just like you, you dead ass. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say the entire time I was witnessing the shit happen. You dead ass? Like, he dead ass? Like, that shit made me nervous, nigga. So I'm in the fucking bar. This night, Anastasia was not with me. My girlfriend was not with me this night. I'm glad she wasn't with me because she probably would have been like, I'm ready to go. No, I was sitting there like, no, I want to watch this shit play it. It'd be the Transformers for me. I was sitting there like, no, I want to watch this shit play out. You dig what I'm saying? So it's one night I'm out at the bar. I'm linked up with the same white people I keep hanging out with. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to put color on shit because I know black people who do. I know black people who do coke. Like, I know black people who do everything. I know white people who do everything. I know Asians and Hispanics who do every fucking thing. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not going to put no goddamn color cap on this bitch. Because, bitch, I don't witness this shit from a lot of people. And I just be standing there like... Nigga, you play with your nose, nigga. Like, SA, you play with your you play with your nose, Holmes. Like, bitch, I I done seen almost every type of person do this shit. So I'm not putting shit past nobody at this point. So I'm with the same group of white people that I had been with. And you know, I, I got me a few drinks. They like, Taco, you want some know you so I said, no, I'm good. Like, I'm good. These three little drinks right here. You do. I don't know what I had. That shit was good as fuck. I think it was called a, a Bahama Breeze. Have y'all ever had that? Go, bitch. <laughs> Look, I'm getting excited. Go to the bar, bitch. Order a Bahama. Is it a Bahama Bay Breeze? Or I don't know. All the old bitches watching this video, y'all drink. Bitch, <laughs> probably like, bitch, I ain't old. Yeah, you are, ho, if you know what I'm talking about. It's called, a, <laughs> it's called a Bahama Bay Breeze or a Bahama Breeze. I don't know, but it's fruity as shit and it's good as fuck. And one thing about me, I don't like tasting my alcohol. I want to be able to drink and think I'm drinking juice because I want that shit to sneak up on me later. And I'll be like, bitch, I'm drunk as fuck. Bitch, when I got drunk? 
bitch, he got drunk off them fruity ass drinks. <laughs> them fruity ass drinks got your little baby ass drunk. I like shit like that. I like like tasting fruit and juice and shit because I don't want to taste the alcohol. I'm gonna throw it up. So I had like three, but I had like big, big ass cups too. Big ass Bahama Bay Breeze, Bahama Breeze, whatever the fuck. Mm, mm, mm. Killing them bitches, you get what I'm saying? So they was like, Taco, you good? You good? I said, Hell yeah, I'm good. Man, it was this one motherfucker. I ain't gonna name no names, but it was this one nigga. You get what I'm saying? This nigga was like, you know, like, it was a white boy. But he was like, you know, like, if, if you trying to turn up a little bit more, I got something for you. So I think this nigga, like, you trying to smoke? Like, like I told y'all, I, I don't like smoking, but if it's around me, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's around, if, if, hey, what's up? But only if I watch you roll the blunt. Like, bitch, don't fucking play with me. I don't fucking fuck around and put some goddamn K2 in that bitch. Had me on the side of the road. <laughs> it's not funny, Jesus. Christ, it's not fucking funny. I'm like, like, what you trying to smoke? He was like, man, fuck no. He was like, I got some blow. He got some what? Like, nigga, I'm not blowing shit. You got some what, nigga? So I got some blow. I got some blow, bro. I say you got some blow. Like, cause I ain't dead ass on everything I love. This is legit the conversation. And nigga, I got some blow. And when he said it, he leaned back like that too. You know, white boys. I got some blow, bro. I say you got some blow. He said, yeah. I'm just like blow like <laughs> on, on everything niggas in atlanta don't call that shit blow nigga we call that shit coke nigga fuck crack i call that shit crack like oh so you do crack like <laughs> trying to dress it up and make it sound cute coke blow crack <laughs> the fuck bitch don't try and change the name of it You're trying to get this bitch a middle name this whole's name is crack cocaine like <laughs> fuck out of here i'm just like blow he was like yeah you know he's like you know like coke like you know i said no, I don't know, nigga. Slap. Yeah. I said, no, I don't know. Like, what the fuck is that? He was like, it's like, just come to the car, come to the car. So me being, you know, the experimenting as soul that I am, I walk to the car with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm not scared. I don't feel no fucking body, bitch. Especially if you bleed just like me. Shit, let me see what's in your car, nigga. <laughs> so I walk out into the car with him. I'm like, okay, cool. I got my drink. I ain't thinking nothing of it, cause I'm like, okay, like the fuck is blow, right? I never really heard anybody refer to it as fucking blow. So I get to the car. He like, yeah, get in the car. So I get in, the, I get on the passenger side. He in the driver side. But he pulled out like this little fucking thing, a Tupperware, this small ass fucking container of like Tupperware or some shit. And this nigga had like some powder in there, and he put his key in there. And he, <sighs> and I'm in the passenger seat, like. You dead ass? Like, no! Passenger seat smiling. And I'm just like, I'm smiling because I'm uncomfortable and I'm not too sure what the fuck to do next because I kind of feel like if I get out of the car, he might force it on me because he's going to be like, where are you going? Are you going to go tell somebody? Hell no, this ain't none of my motherfucking business to tell, nigga. But when I get away from you, I'm telling everybody. <laughs> but I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not too sure what to do. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm just like, the fuck did he just do you know what i'm saying like i've witnessed this happen before like i said like i've witnessed black people do this when i used to date that ugly bitch when i used to date that toxic bitch she used to hang around cowboys like legit black cowboys like these niggas used to ride horses for fun you know what i'm saying like they lived on a barn a ranch bitch whatever the fuck a bungalow whoever the fuck they lived on this shit and they dead ass roll calves they had goat sheeps running around like horses and shit like they dead ass was cowboys and I legit remember sitting there and seeing them niggas, but they had a dollar bill, you know what I'm saying? And they would do it like that. So I was just like, I was young at this time too. So I'm like, these niggas is doing coke. You know what I'm saying? Like young as fuck, like witnessing like black niggas. Like, I'm like, these niggas doing coke. Like I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? And I remember even being there with her, they was passing a blunt around. And she was like, you want to smoke? Hell the fuck no, and fuck around and no, nigga, like, if the, <laughs> you see my face, like, if these niggas is doing coke, why do you think I want to smoke with them? No, I don't want to fucking smoke. So these niggas passing blunts around, and I'm just sitting there like, this is nasty. Like, I don't give a fuck. I, I like I said, I, I can't judge no fucking body. Because somebody watching this video probably like, ew, bitch, you do shrooms. Sure, goddamn, do. <laughs> and love them. Fuck is he talking about? You get what I'm saying? But I can't judge no fucking body. It's just so crazy to me that people would even ingest some shit. <laughs> It's just so crazy to me that people would even ingest man-made shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I be trying not to take fucking medicine. I be trying not to take ibuprofen, Advil, Tylenol, PM, all that shit. Because what the fuck? If something is supposed to make me feel better, why the fuck do it come with side effects? You get what I'm saying? So, I don't put shit past man-made shit. So, if I barely want to take 
recreational drugs and like man-made shit. Why the fuck do you think I would want to do some coke, some blow, some molly, zippy, zans, lean? Pull me up. Look what that drink. Make young nudie, dude. <laughs> fuck no. So I'm in the passenger seat. I'm looking at this nigga. And I said, blow? He was like, yeah, coke. I said, oh, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, like what the fuck? I don't even know what the fuck to say to this nigga. He's like trying to explain to me. He's like, okay, so what you do? And I said, well, I tripped on shrooms like twice and I drink from time to time and I smoke a little bit, but I'm not, I'm not a big smoker. Like weed make me nervous. I like shrooms. Like, like the more trips I take, the more I learn about myself. So I like shrooms a lot. He was like, oh, okay. He was like, so you like downers. No, I like shrooms. The fuck, the fuck are you talking about? A downer. What the fuck is, like, what is all this lingo, nigga? <laughs> like, I'm sitting there like, no shrooms. I ain't say shit about no downer. Got me thinking I'm doing something bad. Downer? Downer? Like, that bitch get nervous. Downer? What the fuck is it? Down tea picker upper? Nigga, what are you talking about? He's like, nah, like, you know, like, I don't do weed because weed is a downer. Weed makes you feel, like, slow. It makes you, like, you know, chill out. You just want to vibe. You just want to sit there. Downers. He was like, weed's a downer. Shrooms are downers. You know, just downers. He was like, me, I like to do uppers. You know, like, so coke. You know, sometimes I might, I might even, like, pop a X. I might get to rolling because I done popped the X pill. And I'm just sitting there like, nigga upper downer left or right or what the fuck are you telling me cheat codes bitch i'm like i don't give a fuck if this shit was a perpendicular bitch I, i'm not doing it like <laughs> don't give a fuck if this bitch gonna take me to an upper level of fucking consciousness i'm not <laughs> i'm not doing this shit man what the fuck is he talking about so he just sitting there explaining uppers and downers and i'm just sitting there like you just sniffed this powder like <laughs> not listening to any motherfucker like <laughs> listen 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 to my logic any motherfucker who can put something in their nose and then not choke afterwards bitch i'm not listening to you what the fuck do i look like like <laughs> nigga i can't even wash my face correctly without the water going in my nose and i'm in that bitch <laughs> i can't even fucking perfectly not drown without drowning you think i'm gonna listen to a motherfucker who can put powder up their nose and just look normal after that fuck you like <laughs> so i'm sitting there like i was like no nah, i don't want to try that he was like oh, come on man like i'm telling i'm telling you it's it's just gonna give you like a lot of energy like you're just gonna be very just like focused like i shit you not man when i want to get my work day done like i shit you not bro i do a line i do a line before I go to work, I do a line. After work, I do a line. If I just want to get something done really quick, I'll do a line, man. I'm telling you, it's an upper. It's just going to have you super just hyper-focused. And I'm sitting there like, you think I want to focus on life? I barely want to live this motherfucker. Like, I don't even like it. I hate it here. I want to go home. Like, nigga, I, why do you think I would want to focus on this shit? Do y'all not see what the fuck is happening outside right now? I don't want to focus on this shit, nigga. The whole reason I trip on shrooms is to escape this shit. <laughs> it's to escape this shit and learn more about my insides. Fuck the outside right now. <laughs> I said, nah, I'm good. As I was straight, I'm good. You get what I'm saying? So that was it for this night at the, at the bar. Another night hit. I'm with the same folks. I got my same drinks in the same bar. These niggas playing pool or whatever. So this one bitch come in white bitch man that whole goddamn boy hey have y'all seen bitch pause this right now and go watch is it the my prerogative <laughs> this is not funny this is not fucking funny because i love him how, do y'all know bobby brown video it's my prerogative do y'all remember how fucking hard and like he was just going so far go watch that video right now when i tell y'all that's what the fuck this white girl came in the club doing that hoe was in that bitch doing the motherfucking stairmaster like that hoe has so much energy and i'm sitting like next to the pool table like i'm watching these niggas play pool you know what i'm saying we done fucked around somehow uh, connected our phone to the fucking jukebox so we in there playing some shit it was like me and one other black person you know what i'm saying it, it was a gay man so me and that nigga was like linked up the whole night you know what i'm saying because hey we gotta stick together bitch you know what i'm saying but all skin folk ain't skin folk but he was cool as fuck, you know what I'm saying? He was gay and he was black. So I said, bitch, come here. Like, <laughs> you my date for the whole night, bitch, period. So he fucked around, found a way to put, connect his shit to the jukebox. So we playing Megan Thee Stallion, bitch. We turning, we here, we playing some shit we want to fucking hear. Other than this goddamn, I tied a black person to the back of my pickup truck. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. Nigga, fuck you. I spit on you. So 
We in there jamming. We got there watching these niggas play pool. I done got a drink. He done got a drink. We got there turned up. You know what I'm saying? Man, this white hoe came through the fucking bar door. That bitch. God, what that hoe got there? <laughs> I said, oh, shit. And I'm just watching her. And the boy, the black boy, whispered to me. He said, this bitch right here, this bitch be rolling. And I said, what the, what the fuck? What is that? Like, <laughs> what does that mean? What is this lingo, nigga? Put me on game. He said, man, this bitch, this bitch right here, this bitch be playing with her nose and she be popping fucking pills and she be washing all that shit down with alcohol. And I'm just sitting there like, how the fuck have you not blown the fuck up? Like, my little ass, I can't even handle weed. Bitch, I probably would have just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just in the middle of the fucking bar, just, <laughs> just blew the fuck up, my nigga. Like, at the end of the movie, Lucy, when that bitch is, <laughs> Like, so I'm sitting there like, how the fuck do y'all even handle this? He said, uh-uh, it ain't no y'all. I don't do that shit. He said, but these motherfuckers right here, they, they don't give a fuck. Like, they be rolling. Man, this hoe came in the bar. This bitch, goddamn. Who, NLE chopper and that, like, that hoe was, man, that hoe was rolling. Like, <laughs> that sounds scary. I don't want to be fucking rolling, bitch. I'm not goddamn Tina Turner. That shit, that shit scary. I'm not a crimp, nigga. That shit sound, neighborhood. Like, no. That sounds scary as shit. Rolling? Nigga. No, I just want to be tripping. You get what I'm saying? So, this hoe just back and forth. She done went to the bar. <laughs> that bitch look like she done hit the goddamn the yellow star on Mario Kart. <laughs> this bitch was losing her mind in that bar. That bitch, that bitch was at the bar. Let me get that. Let me get that. Then that bitch came to the pool table. Are you guys playing pool? Huh? You got, oh, you said you're playing pool? I said, hey. <laughs> I'm just dead at, bro, I'm watching this bitch like just run her. This hoe did like four laps. <laughs> this bitch did four laps like she was playing fucking Monopoly. Like this bitch went around a whole board, nigga. This bitch went to where they was shooting the, the fucking darts and shit. That bitch went up under the game. She's like, ah, that bitch can't hit me. I said, no. <laughs> so she got damn. Uh, 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 uh. And then her nigga come in. And her nigga, his eyes big as fuck. He's sweating. So I'm like, okay, he on the same shit she on. And it's just so crazy to me because this is when I realized that people, people can do the same shit but have different reactions. You get what I'm saying? And that was just so insane to me. Like, of course, I already knew this, like, growing up, like, witnessing shit happen. But to see it now as an adult and see it so recently, especially since, like, I'm starting to sit and, like, understand shit and pay attention to shit and just learn about more shit. It's just so crazy to see it now at this age. And I'm just looking like they did the same thing, but look at how she's acting and look at how he acting. And that's just so crazy to me because that that proves that people can be functioning crackheads. Like all the motherfuckers in Hollywood, like all these people that we love and shit, y'all think these motherfuckers gonna be playing with their nose? Like, and still be able to just goddamn come out and perform or go to set and act on act on films and shit. That'd be so crazy to me, you know what I'm saying? And there's some people who just lose all fucking control. Like that bitch in here looking like goddamn, it's my prerogative. <laughs> that bitch was looking like Janet Jackson in Rhythm Nation. I said, damn ho, you finna do a whole goddamn eight count. Like that whole look like she was doing one of them fucking TikTok dance. <laughs> Hold on, they be on TikTok like, Down, nigga, I hate that shit. Man, that hoe is in there going crazy. I said, yo, this hoe is nuts. Like, man, that bitch finally sat down when her boyfriend came in. That hoe couldn't, even, she couldn't even sit still when she was sitting down. Like, it was so fucking scary. Finally sat down, right? But even sitting down, that bitch was like, yeah, I went to the bar already. I already ordered. I, yeah, I ordered a drink. Yeah. yeah. Did you want a drink? Oh, you wanted a drink, babe. I'm oh, sorry to know that you wanted. Oh. No, I, yeah, I already went, yeah, I was, yeah, I was at the bar, yeah, yeah, no, I was over there, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Me and a gay dude just like watching this bitch just run around the bar, you know what I'm saying, like, she done went from the chair, she done gave the chair a whole lap dance, like, she was Lanaz and the chair was the devil, this bitch done went back to the bar, <laughs> She had a bar, let me get that one, that one, this one, that one, got him, got him, need him, got him, got him, got him, need him, got him. <laughs> y'all ever seen Little Monsters? Y'all too young, y'all probably never seen. Y'all ever seen Little Monsters? <laughs> I really gotta talk about this. I love this fucking movie. It's like a whole monster world up under his bed, <laughs> and the monster was blue, and he had the baseball cards. He was like, got him, got him, need him, got him, got him, got him, need him. <laughs> she was at the bar just like losing her mind. Then that bitch went back to the darts, and her boyfriend was just letting her do this. Her boyfriend was just like, sweating 
wiping his sweat, drinking his beer, smoking his cigarette, playing pool. But his eyes was big as fuck the entire time. And I'm just sitting there like, this is fucking scary. Like, that hoe was losing her mind, my nigga. Like, does that not seem like some possession shit to y'all? Like, do that not seem like this shit done took control of your body so fucking hard that you can't even control yourself? That's why I don't play with that shit. <laughs> That's why I do not play with that shit. And I shit y'all not my entire time out there in Florida. Every time I linked up with that nigga, he would ask me the same question over and over and over. And over. You, want, you want some blow? Got some blow, bro. You good? You sh hey, taco, hey, come on. Got some blow, bro. I don't, and I don't, I don't like that. Because how come every time you offer me blow, you lean back? Like you talking about something. I'm not blowing shit, bitch. I will bite it off if you ever check <laughs> Like, why every time you offer blow, you gotta lean back like you putting your goddamn penis out or something? Like, no, nigga, if you're not Chris Brown, I'm not blowing it. Like, I was just watching this bitch, like, lose her mind and just run around. And I just, I, now the type of person I am, like I said, since I'm just learning and I'm growing every day, I just be sitting here like, this shit really... It's just so crazy to me because I kind of feel like so many people do so many drugs and abuse so many drugs because they want to escape reality. You get what I'm saying? And that's just, I don't know, that's so fucking crazy to me because, because like, what if drugs, what if certain drugs are illegal because they make us see the real world, you know what I'm saying? So like psychedelics, like with like shrooms and shit, I can only speak for shrooms because I never did like LSD or nothing else, like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, whatever the fuck. I never did anything else. I never did like, I think acid and LSD are, are actually the same thing. I don't fucking know. I only did shrooms, right? So like I said, I'm gonna link my shrooms video, but to me, I kind of feel like tripping off of shrooms, it made me sit and just realize how much shit really don't matter. And it kind of made me sit here and just think about like, what the fuck life really is about. You know what I'm saying? Like some material shit that we be tripping over, like money, clothes, shoes, foreigns, jewelry, all this shit don't fucking matter. You know what I'm saying? All that matters is like the type of person that you are. So it's kind of like, Shrooms also help me do like a lot of shadow work. Like if you can't, if you can't fix yourself internally, then bitch, you will never grow externally. You will never be the, the person that you need to be externally if you cannot fix what's wrong with you internally, right? So that's like what shrooms made me think about. And it also made me think about like how the world is just fake. <laughs> it just made me think about so much shit. And I'm just sitting here like, we are in quarantine in 2020. How is this even possible? Like, it, it really just made me sit and just think about so much shit. Like, I just thought about everything. Like, I thought about, like, presidents. I thought about, like, famous people. I thought about how, like, it's just so much fucking money out here. But yet, there's, there's still, like, poverty and homelessness. And I was just sitting here like, this is fucking fake. <laughs> and it, even if it's not fake, why the fuck do we even exist like, like this? How is shit like this even possible? You get what I'm saying? But then I get to thinking, and I'm just like, what if this shit is illegal because it makes us, like, tap into a whole nother side that we shouldn't fucking worry about? You know what I'm saying? Because I kind of feel like, I feel like as soon as we're born, we're taught that you need to go to school, have a family, and work for the rest of your life. I feel like that's what we're taught. We're taught, don't be yourself. Don't be outside the box. Don't think outside the box. Don't be weird follow this norm don't do that listen to the critics listen to what society tells you is normal don't be gay don't be black and proud don't be woke don't not shave your armpits don't don't color your hair women aren't supposed to cut their hair men aren't supposed to be feminine women can't have tattoos men can't pierce their you know just all types of stupid dumb shit just men are stronger and this race is more superior I just feel like as soon as we're born, that's what we're taught. As soon as we're born, we're taught to just follow this, follow this structure and die, right? Like it ain't no, it ain't no live your life, be proud of who you are, be yourself, it ain't none of that. Follow this structure and die, bitch. <laughs> that's literally what the fuck, that's what, that's literally what I think of society. I think these motherfuckers just want us to go to school, have a family, die. Like, that's it. And it's just so crazy because I just be sitting here like, what if people abuse drugs because so many people are trying to escape reality? But at the same time, some people are not abusing drugs. The drugs are abusing them, which is why you see people strung out. You get what I'm saying? To me, I think shrooms, I think mushrooms are very sacred. I think a mushroom is a sacred plant. So I know not to abuse mushrooms. You get what I'm saying? I can't use mushrooms because 
then the mushrooms will start to use me. You get what I'm saying? I kind of feel like once my body is done with that and once my body experiences everything that it needs to experience and learn, I will be done with the mushrooms. You get what I'm saying? That's what I think about with like every drug, right? So even, even when I was a heavy weed smoker, like I always used to tell you, I used to be a stoner when I was in Texas. When I first graduated, I was a stoner. I would smoke literally every day, every minute I woke up, every second. I couldn't do shit without smoking. I couldn't go to work without smoking. Couldn't come home, just shower and chill without smoking. I would smoke every fucking day. And I realized, bitch, this drug is starting to use your fucking ass. You get know what I'm saying? Like, it gets to a point where I think people rely on a drug so much that they don't realize this drug is abusing your ass, right? And it's because we don't want to live in reality. Instead of trying to change ourselves so we can alter our reality and change everything around us and make ourselves better for the future, we just rely on these drugs to kind of take us away from that shit. And I think that's just so sad. And I think that's just so insane because to me, that correlates back to possession. <laughs> <laughs> bitch i put all this in my mind boom possession like that's so fucking scary to me you get what i'm saying so it's like when i just i know so many people is like yeah i'd be doing this and i'd be doing that and i just be like how like how nigga like like there's times where i'd be sitting here and i'd be like i need to go on another shroom trip but it's not because like i just want to be high like it's not like i'm sitting here like i want to eat some shrooms so i can be high it's kind of like when I'm going through like a depressive episode or if I feel it, I, lately I haven't really had a depressive episode. I'm doing pretty fucking good. But whenever I feel like my manic depression, like seeping back into my life, I'll change my hair color. <laughs> Bitch, that's literally how I deal with my issues. Change my hair color, get a tattoo or get a piercing. But lately I've been doing very well. I actually just got tired of that green. I was tired of looking at that green and shit starting to look sick. So I was like, okay, bitch, that is shit back black. But I realize whenever I, I start to feel sad, I'd be like, okay, bitch, this is something that you can learn from. This is a manic depression episode that you could possibly learn from and grow from. <laughs> Shrooms trip. But, <laughs> but lately I have doing, I've been doing very well and I haven't even been feeling sad. Like, I don't know if y'all know this, but bitch, I've been back all on social media. I'm posting myself and it's kind of, it's more so for myself. I don't give a fuck about y'all. I, I give a fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I came out very fucking blunt. I give a fuck about y'all. You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like, I'm not posting this shit for the likes and the comments, bitch. I'm posting this shit for my fucking self. You know what I'm saying? And I also saw this post and it was kind of like, stop apologizing for not following a schedule and stop apologizing for not always wanting to post and always just being happy and shit and i was like i like that because i notice whenever i'm going from youtube for a long time i get back on here and i'll be like hey guys i'm sorry i've been no fuck that <laughs> the fuck am i apologizing for y'all know what the fuck it is and what the fuck it ain't bitch this is real life ho like <laughs> motherfuckers gotta pay bills bitch black people gotta avoid getting shot bitch i'm gay i'm black i'm a woman it's a lot going on <laughs> You know what I'm saying? There's a lot going on. So if I'm ever off this bitch, I see you when I see you. Fuck, I be coming on here talking about some, hey guys, I'm sorry. The fuck am I apologizing for? For taking time for my mental fucking sake? Fuck, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. That's why I be blocking y'all hoes. That's why I be blocking the fuck out of bitches. I'm not playing with y'all hoes no more. Bitch, I done fucking elevated and grew so goddamn high. I ain't past all that shit. All that shit is beneath me, bitch. Fuck it. <laughs> so anyway, the whole point of this story is just because if you know somebody who does drugs, please fucking check in on them because that shit to me is a possession. You get what I'm saying? To me, I feel like that's a possession. And it's so crazy because I sometimes I used to, I, I don't read my YouTube comments anymore. Like, like I said, I'll read them like within the first few days that I post a video. But after that, that's when all the little hating ass weird hoes start coming, start leaving their comments. And bitch, I don't, bitch, you're typing a comment to me about me on my video it ain't that much hate in the world. I could never not like somebody that much that I'm gonna take time out of my day to comment on their video to them about them. Bitch, you eating dick. <laughs> Fuck that. So it's, it's be like back in the day when I first started YouTube, I used to read a lot of my comments and I used to just see comments where people be like, man, this hoe doing too much. This hoe do drugs. This hoe do coke. And it's just so crazy to me. Like, damn, bitch, if you don't got no personality, just say that. Like, <laughs> like why, why do why do y'all equate somebody who's just like, happy and just so just spontaneous and just an entertainer why do you why do you equate that with them being on drugs bitch if you born in real life just say that bitch if you don't got no friends just say that ho if you not funny just say that bitch if you miserable just say that <laughs> fuck out of here don't don't be mad at me because motherfuckers think i'm funny because i'm animated oh they hold do drugs no <laughs> i'm scared to what the fuck I, do you want me to <laughs> So, nah, real shit though. Like, if you know somebody who like uses drugs heavily, even if they do just smoke weed, check on them because I kind of feel like 
why are you trying to why are you trying to escape reality so fucking bad i know why because bitch i'm trying to then leave i'm trying to get the fuck up out of here too you get what i'm saying but always remember that if you keep abusing something the table's gonna flip and bitch that shit is gonna abuse you you get what i'm saying that don't it that, it don't matter if it's weed if it's shrooms if it's coke don't be out here just using an excessive amount of something and thinking it's just gonna solve all your problems it's not you know what I'm saying? You gonna be running around that bitch looking like shorty in a bar. That bitch was like, doo, 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 <laughs> I wish y'all could see my legs, bitch. I was just river dancing. <laughs> Man, no real shit though. Like y'all, hey, pay attention to your friends and your loved ones. I just wanted to get this video out real quick because it was just so much on my mind about it. And I'm just like, damn, these folks really be doing coke. <laughs> and they really playing with your nose. Like what the fuck is wrong? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? But um, that was it for this video. I need to go run my errands before it get dark. Cause you know, the freaks come out at night. What, what, what? And I do not want to be out here with y'all today. I don't feel like playing. <laughs> I don't feel like playing. Today's not the day for me to play. But um, yeah, that was it for this video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you didn't, I don't give a fuck. Go tap in with Andre and True Instincts. You did know what I'm saying? Go tap in with Taz, the creator, and get you some gear as well. Cause that shit is hardened. And go tap in with my friend and get you some temporary tattoos you did on Sheen. If you the type of bitch and you want a tattoo but you're not too sure what to get or where to put it, go get you one of these temporary tattoos and test it out. You did know what I'm saying? You might like it. You might gonna be like, ooh, I might get taco tattooed on me for real. Ooh, big daddy. <laughs> what the fuck? Not real. Look, hey, if you, if you get me tattooed on, if you get me tattooed on you, DM me that shit. Send me a picture. You did know what I'm saying? Let me see that motherfucker. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> okay, bye.